Okay, so this model is showing our prokaryotic cell, in this case a bacteria cell, and going over just the general parts of a bacteria, starting with the uh, membrane around the bacteria, you see is broken down into three separate layers here. The innermost layer of the bacteria is the plasma membrane, the same as on any cell, uh, animal cell, plant cell, whatever type of cell you were looking at, fungus cell, it doesn't matter. The first thing around the cytoplasm is always going to be your plasma membrane. The next layer out here is your cell wall. So as we saw in plant cells, the bacteria also have a cell wall. So that's the layer that you see here in blue in the middle. And then the outermost layer here is called the glycocalyx. Uh, the glycocalyx is also sometimes called the slime layer or the capsule, depending on um, how closely, uh, how closely uh, put together the, the molecules are on that outer surface there. Uh, but it is, regardless of whether it's a slime layer or a capsule, it is always the glycocalyx. So we have the uh, plasma membrane cell wall and the glycocalyx that you see here. Around the outside, attached to uh, the outside here, you see they're actually extensions of the plasma membrane. As you see here, they're kind of coming through the other layers, but they're actually coming from that plasma membrane. Uh, so those are the uh, fimbrae that you see here. Um, then we've got one long extension coming off here, which is, of course, your flagellum. And inside, remember, this is a prokaryotic cell, so they do not have a nucleus. What they do have is a nucleoid or a nucleoid region, which is where the uh, DNA of the bacteria is found. So this is the bacterial chromosome. So this area here is your nucleoid or nucleoid region. Also inside the cell here are the little pink dots that you see here. These are the ribosomes okay, uh, for producing proteins, of course. And then you see these additional little rings that you see here. Those are the plasmids. You may or may not have to know the plasmids, but those are additional little rings of DNA that we see here. Uh, also, on the bacteria cell wall, we see the different layers of the cell wall here. And this is the gram-positive versus the gram-negative bacteria. And you see here that the gram-positive bacteria have a thicker layer of the blue that you see here, which is your peptidoglycan layer. You see the gram-negative has a thinner layer. Okay, so if you just remember, a plus sign is a thicker symbol than a minus sign. So this one is your negative because it's a thinner layer. Uh, the gram-negative also has this additional layer here that we don't see here, and these are your lipopolysaccharides. So the difference in the peptidoglycan in the cell wall and the additional layer of the peptidoglycans is what we see as the difference in the gram-positive bacteria versus the gram-negative bacteria.